Antonio Inoki, real name, Kanji Inoki, February 20, 1943 to October 1, 2022, was a Japanese professional wrestler, businessman, and politician. He was born in Tsurumi-ku, Yokohama, Kanagawa Prefecture. He was born in Tsurumi Ward, Yokohama, Kanagawa Prefecture, and his blood type was AB. His catchphrase after founding New Japan Pro Wrestling is Burning Fighting Spirit, 5. His catchphrase when he was a member of Nippon Pro Wrestling was Young Lion. His nickname is Anton. He has been married and divorced, for times, and his second wife is the actress Mitsuko Baisho. He has one daughter with Baisho, and converted to Islam in 1991 in the Shiite holy city of Karbala, Iraq, under the Muslim name Muhammad Hussein Inoki. 6. However, according to the Washington Post, he also identifies himself as a Buddhist. 7. As a professional wrestler, he was active in the founding of New Japan Pro Wrestling and in different kinds of martial arts competitions. As a politician, he has served as a member of the House of Counselors, two terms, representative of the Sports Peace Party, director of the National Campaign Bureau and chairman of the House of Counselors Policy Research Committee of the Next Generation Party, and chief advisor and representative of the Association to Energize Japan. Translated with www.dpel.com slash translator, free version. Profile Upbringing Born in Namamujicho, Surumiku, Yokohama City, Kanagawa Prefecture, present-day Kishitani, Surumiku. His father is Sajiro Inoki and his mother is Fumiko, maiden name, Sagara. His father died when Inoki was five years old. In his book, Michiaki Maeda wrote, according to Mr. Inoki's statement, his father was a prefectural assemblyman or something like that. 8. Inoki's father was a coal wholesaler. His parents ran a coal wholesaler, but went bankrupt after World War II, when the world's energy resources shifted from coal to oil. At the age of 12, he entered Toreo Junior High School in Yokohama, but life was hard, and at the age of 13, in the hope that he might escape poverty, he moved to Brazil with his mother, grandfather, and siblings, nine, and spent his youth on a farm near the city of Sao Paulo. For the first year and a half after emigrating to Brazil, he was forced to work hard on the farm, mainly harvesting coffee beans from 5 o'clock in the morning until 5 o'clock in the evening. As a child, he was not athletic, and his friends called him Don Hiroshi, slow-witted, and Kanchan, the luckless one. 10. After immigrating to Brazil, he participated in a local track and field meet as an athlete, and demonstrated his physical ability by winning the championship in the shot put. In doing so, he caught the eye of Rikidosan, who was on an expedition to Brazil. Translated with www.dpel.com slash translator, free version. As a professional wrestler. Wrestling debut. On April 11, 1960, he was scouted directly by Rikidosan, who was visiting Sao Paulo for a show, and returned to Japan to join Nippon Pro Wrestling. Rikidosan's first words to him were, Oi, get naked. He said that he passed the test when he saw the muscles in his back after having only his upper body undressed. After his debut, he was offered training by Sonny Myers, who had noticed Inoki's qualities, 11. On September 30, 1960, the same day as Giant Baba's debut, he debuted as Kanji Inoki, his real name, against Kentaro Oki at the Taito Ward Gymnasium in Taito-ku, Tokyo, lost by reverse armlock in 7 minutes and 6 seconds. 12, 13, on November 9, 1962, in Naha City, Okinawa, against Hideyuki Nagasawa he changed his ring name to Antonio Inoki, 12, in a match against Hideyuki Nagasawa on November 9, 1962, in Naha City, Okinawa. This ring name was given by Toyota Bori, a senior wrestler. It is generally believed that he was named after Antonio Rocca, a famous wrestler of the time, 14, but there are also various theories, such as that it was to emphasize that he was a Japanese-Brazilian returning from Brazil. Furthermore, Rikidosan, who liked the name Chief Shinigami from his role in the TV drama Kayanta, 
in which he appeared while working under his real name, wanted to use that name as Inoki's ring name, 12. Rikidosen initially tried to market Inoki as a Japanese-Brazilian as a springboard for a successful show in South America. It was only after Rikidosen's death that Inoki himself publicly announced that he was born in Yokohama. Shortly after his debut, he became Rikidosen's valet, but Rikidosen died on December 15, 1963. His time as a valet lasted three and a half years, 15. Samurai training in the U.S. In 1964, he left for the U.S. to train as a samurai, but he later stated that he initially could not obtain an official work visa and avoided operating under his real name. His ring names at this time included Little Tokyo Tom, a reference to the Japanese neighborhood of Little Tokyo in Los Angeles, and many others. He circulated the West Coast, Midwest, and South, returning home two years later. During this tour, he teamed with Duke Kiyomuka to win the Eastern Texas version of the NWA World Tag Team titles, 16, and with Hiro Matsuda to win the Mid-America version of the same titles, 17, Baba, who was also a top eventer at MSG, never won the titles during his U.S. training. Baba, a contemporary of Baba, was a top eventer at MSG, but was not crowned with the title during his U.S. training. The Mid-America version of the NWA World Tag Team titles were won by defeating Eddie Graham and Sam Steamboat, and were also defended against Graham and Johnny Valentine in a joint Tokyo Pro Wrestling and International Pro Wrestling show, 18. It is also said that he defeated Joe Blanchard to win the NWA Texas Heavyweight title in Texas, but this is a confusion with Ray Urbano, who also called himself Tokyo Tom in the same area, 19, 20. Tokyo Pro Wrestling In March 1966, after completing his training in the U.S., he stopped by Hawaii to participate in joint training with Giant Baba and Michiaki Yoshimura, and Toy Tabori, who had left Nippon Pro Wrestling at the end of the previous year and had arrived in Hawaii in secret, persuaded him that he would never be able to go above Baba if he returned to Nippon Pro Wrestling. He left Nippon Pro Wrestling, plundering the Pacific Ocean, on April 23, after returning to Japan, he and Toyoto officially announced the establishment of Tokyo Pro Wrestling with himself as the ace, 18, he gained fame in a match against Johnny Valentine at the October 12 flag-off match. However, the company's performance rapidly deteriorated due to the lack of television broadcasts, weak sales, and Toyoto's embezzlement. When Tokyo Pro Wrestling attempted to cancel a show due to lack of customers, the Itabashi incident occurred, in which the ring was set on fire by angry spectators, and Tokyo Pro Wrestling went bankrupt within three months. Return to Nippon Pro Wrestling After returning to Nippon Pro Wrestling, Inoki was treated second only to Baba and won the international tag team title as a tag team BI gun with Giant Baba, and when net, now TV Asahi, began broadcasting Nippon Pro Wrestling, Baba's matches were considered exclusive to NTV due to an agreement with NTV. Inoki became the ace of NTV's Nippon Pro Wrestling broadcasts and won the UN Heavyweight title. He also challenged Dory Funk Jr. for the NWA World Heavyweight title. However, due to repeated feuds with Nippon Pro Wrestling, including an unacceptable request to fight Baba, Japanese confrontations had been taboo at the time since Rikidosen unified the Japanese mats, and uncertainties about Nippon Pro Wrestling's finances, he was banned in 1971, for details, see the snitching case for more details. In November of the same year, he married actress Mitsuko Baisho. Establishment of New Japan Pro Wrestling After being expelled from Nippon Pro Wrestling, he founded New Japan Pro Wrestling on January 26, 1972, 22. At first, the company had no television broadcasts and struggled to manage its business. However, the company gained popularity through a big-name Japanese showdown with former international pro wrestling ace Strong Kobayashi, a grudge match with Kentaro Oki, a senior wrestler from his Nippon Pro Wrestling days and a match with Bill Robinson to determine the world's best wrestler in terms of ability. 
He also trained Tiger Jet Singh, Stan Hansen, and Hulk Hogan as foreign aces, and after forming an alliance with the WWWF, he was able to bring in many foreign stars, creating a golden era of professional wrestling after the death of Rikidosen. Translated with www.dpel.com slash translator, free version.